everyone, I'm back with another YouTube video. I'm Ahmed, I'm a doctor who loves technology, and I want to talk today about Notion AI. Will Notion AI change the future of studying medicine? Interesting question, so let's get on with it. The things that I found out with Notion AI and can it be used to study? If you go to Chrome and then you ask Chrome, hey, what is thalassemia? So this is, this is like a three, four second step like this takes some time and depends on your typing speed so if i type notion ai what is thalassemia now let's try to compare now this is is very informative if you're still like if you're in a medical medical student finished um, university or you you graduate you're in a residency or even graduating for instance now let's start with more difficult questions like what are the treatment options of thalassemia it's very it's not detailed enough it's basically incorporated the things that let's say the things that are common now i found a problem with notion ai is that if i search this document for splenomegaly i think what happens with notion ai is that it goes into into the page and somehow finds it so for example this is tdt's terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase it is a marker in in, the, in like leukemia and leukemia is basically an all look Notion AI is in alpha, I don't blame them. It's amazing what they're trying to do. That's very accurate. Hmm, interesting. Now let's start with write a table for different treatment options for thalassemia. Not bad, not bad. Can you make it more de detailed? This is not enough. Maybe you're committed person. Okay, that's that's not bad, that's not bad. Deferocerox, deferoxamine are different. That's actually very good. No? That's fine. Now, the problems, I've found a little bit of problem here and there where, let's see, can you tell me about AUC5? No, I intentionally put a spelling error to, to, to see what Notion AI would do. You seen by methylamine, okay, they corrected it. It's not even like no certain types of methodology disorder. And okay, it's under a cell. Oh, it missed one of the important diagnoses. Um, that is, that is kind of disheartening. Can you compare it? to other tests. And that's not what I'm looking for. I'm used to confirm, okay, yeah. So if you look at this AUC5, Google obviously corrected is a flow cytometric widely used. So this is not accurate, unfortunately. However, this can be worked through. I think a big issue is gonna happen because this is moving people from, Notion AI is trying to move people from Google. So you're gonna be re less reliant on Google and Google makes Google ads. So that's gonna be a problem. Now let's see, let's ask it critical questions. What is the sensitivity of CT brain in diagnosis of subarachnoid hemorrhage. CT was okay, that's actually very accurate. Wow, 87 to 95 percent. Okay, but did they mention? Ah, oh, they did not mention the first six hours. I'm not, I'm not sad. It's not bad, but the thing is, it's in the first six hours. And um, like, if you say again, good thing about this is if you go here. Now let's go. To, let's go, to Alfred. You will find the article from Stroke AHA Journals. Where's Stroke? Yeah, this is the one. It's in the first six hours. So the thing is, how Notion AI can do this? If they 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 patch this, that would be awesome. That would be like a okay. I'll be super happy. Next point is yeah. Let's see again. Same question. These are the things that if Notion AI integrates with Google and up to date. Wow, that would be so valuable. That'll be so valid. I hope they hear me right now. So let's see what is the sensitivity of MRI in chronic mesenteric. These are the questions that when you write and you're irritated with, you need an AI to answer you because it's very annoying. You use the diagnosis, MRI is 85 to okay. Chronic, okay, but what is the time? Again, this is another thing that needs to be handled. Okay, may play a role. Another problem with the notion. I think there's, there's something missing. Superior sensitivity and ability to take small amounts. Plan provide detailed imaging, which can be underlined. Okay, actually, sometimes it is the gold standard. Anyway, so let's try something even more niche. Show me an image of MRI of chronic mesenteric ischemia. So what happens is it starts to put an image, but then it gets an error 400. Learn more. If you go to learn more, oh, that's an error 400. If you go to learn more, you're just gonna get this issue. I even emailed them. Can you tell me about the FDA black box warning of 
Doxy Cyclone. Mr. Blackwell is on the Ontario of the United States that the long term use on the agent is not okay, that's actually accurate. Should be used, okay, fine, let's double check with Google. Caused increased pressure in the head. What are the warnings? What is the black? No, yeah, that's for dollar king loans. Yeah, it's actually accurate. Not bad. Now I'm gonna ask it a really critical question. What test do you do for celiac disease if the patient has IgA deficiency? I'm just increasing the difficulty of the questions to see how Notion AI will answer. Uh, for individuals, they are produced okay in such cases. Combination of genetic testing, tissue transcutaneous antibodies. Hmm, that's not the right answer. <sighs> Let's see what Google says. Interesting. It, it did hint about it. Honestly, this is a difficult question. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay, let's say I found this very useful in Notion AI is enumerate 10 transfusion reactions. Actually, let me make it more difficult. Enumerate all the transfusion related reactions you know of. I'm really pushing the limit of Notion AI here. Fever, chills, hives. No, no. Okay. No, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, let me just put one last thing. Uh, tell me, right? in a table um the different treatment regimens of hepatitis c okay the only problem is so if you go to up to date you will find a whole scheme like the treatment regimen that is somehow if we compare it this is not the table in up to date but it's acceptable uh daclatosphere fine sofosbuvir fine fine and there's algorithms yeah there's algorithm for g2 and 3 where are the algorithms so what do these medications cost like let's look at one of the algorithms yeah so the, you see this table it's huge so the problem is if you put that it's it's difficult. It's kind of difficult for machine AI to do this. So it could be used as a supplementary tool for simple questions, but difficult questions, it's not. It, it's it's really trying to get there. Let's start brainstorming ideas. Can you tell me up five ideas that will improve efficiency and workflow in a hospital using it That's very bad. If you go to a so this was made by this is one of the examples made by ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT wins in this. Develop a system that uses RFID or similar technology to track patient moves and throughout. That is cool, but that's already there. Digital triage was an almost an original one, but that is cool. So ChatGPT wins in this one. Notion AI mm, loses. Yeah, there is a whole lot of potential. This this happening is a huge thing. So let's focus on the positives and the gains. This is uh, this is a huge this is a huge huge thing. So I think yes, I'll continue using Notion AI and let's see what if they get updated and probably make new videos about it. Let me know if you think I should make more videos about this and like and subscribe to the channel if you like that. Thank you.